So, hey, saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and wow, that camera looks really close. Yeah. Anyhow, wow. Hello. Hi. Um, so, I was um, studying this morning. I got a really good word. It was a long word, and it's, like, going to be a little difficult to deliver, so y'all pray for me in the process. God bless you. I love y'all, and I just want to share what I, what I heard, so... It's simple enough. Sister with a testimony done got some word. And I'm like, okay, Lord, when do you want to release it? Release it. Okay. So in Judges chapter 7 is where we're going to go to. So if you want to grab your Bibles while I'm praying. Or just pray with me and then grab your Bible. But if you're like me, you keep the Bible with you all the time. Because it's hidden in your heart. Anyhow, I love you. God bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you. Father God, I lift up your name. I ask that... This word that you've given me, Father, it'll come out um, not in my flesh, Lord, but that the spirit man of God will just completely take over the flesh so that there's no flesh in this. Father God, help me to hold my emotions and Father God, help me to just hear what you're saying and not comment and just deliver the word. Father God, I praise you and thank you. I ask you to bless those that are listening and watching, Lord. And uh, just encourage them, Father God. I ask that you touch them, that your blood hide, protect, and keep them. And Father, if there's anyone that doesn't know you personally, if, if they don't know Yeshua Hamashiach, your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, you're not willing, Father God, that any would perish, but all would come to repentance and faith in, in Jesus. Holy Spirit, draw men unto you. You said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw them. Father God, I just ask you to draw them, bless them, and keep them as only you can. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So Joshua chapter 7 is, I'm sorry, Judges chapter 7 is the story about Gideon. And um, it's interesting because I was just talking to a Gideon uh, this week, and um, he just told me some amazing things that the Lord does to help them get the word out. Literally, Bibles, the Gideons, you know, they're working. And I love it because there's so many people that are laboring with the Lord and for the Lord. And if you're one, then you're my brother, you're my sister. Hey, you're my cousin. You know, we all related. We're the family of Jesus. Yes. A living, breathing organism. So I'm going to dive right into this. And the, um, the verse, I'm not going to read a lot of the scripture. You need to read it for yourself. Read the story of Gideon. Uh, you'll figure it out. But um, in Judges chapter 7, verse 7, it reads on this wise, And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lapped, it was the way that they drank their water, will I save you? And deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go every man unto his place. Now listen, I, I was just reading this again and brushing up on it, and it's like, okay, if you're dealing with thousands and thousands of men to start with, and then, uh, you know, you break it down, and then in verse 3 of uh, chapter 7, it breaks it down, um, 22,000 and then 10,000 and then he says I'm going to get it down to even further because in other words God doesn't want us to receive the glory and the honor and the the right you know bragging rights that we did it of our own strength so remember that saints when you hear this word uh, <laughs> he said the ones that lap in verse 5 of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth him shall thou set by himself likewise every one that boweth down upon his knees to drink and the number of them that lap putting their hand to their mouth were three hundred men <laughs> but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink verse seven again and the lord said to gideon by those three hundred yeah twenty two thousand ten thousand three hundred hmm God going to get some glory and victory up in here. So anyhow, uh, that's my scripture reference for the day. And uh, we're talking about the Lord gave me this word. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if I want to deliver this. But uh, here it is. 
brace yourself. <sighs> I am separating the men from the boys. Yeah, I don't think that's talking about, like, gender. I think, yeah, just figure this out, receive it. Um, I was looking at some commentaries, and uh, I, I don't like commentaries. I'll read them, but then I've got to have the word from the Lord and not somebody else. But one that I want to share with you is uh, Barnes Notes on the Bible. It reads on this wise, Try 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 the word try the word is used for refining metals by separating the dross from the pure ore okay god is separating the men from the boys that's what he did in judges chapter 7 he separated the men from the boys okay we talk about it's gonna have to be some christian folk that are ready to stand up and fight and die for the cause of Christ. They who threw themselves on the ground and drank freely were more self-indulgent. While they who remembering the near presence of the enemy slacked their thirst with moderation and without being off their guard for one instance, those were the true soldiers of the army of Yahuwah. Yeah. Nailed it. I can use that. So, got this word this morning. I'm separating the men from the boys. Well, I'm not doing it, so it's got to be Yahuwah. Just as I did with Gideon, so do I come to prove the ones that have the backbone to enter into battle, knowing they may not survive this physical war further. Hmm. Men true men of God and we're talking about men and women saints we're talking about soldiers true men and women of salt and light and integrity they do not back down from a fight that is for my worthy cause and saints think about that Ephesians chapter 6 we do not fight against prince we do not fight against flesh and blood but against principalities powers the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. If you're scared of the devil, you hear what I'm saying? Perfect love casts out fear. So if you're scared of the enemy, you need to go back to the drawing board and ask God to strengthen you and give you the resolve to fight because you're going to have to fight. There ain't going to be this, okay, I'm just going to stand and let them come and just kill and destroy and steal. We're talking about spiritual things, saints. We're not talking about physical things. And the Lord went on to give me this. I am, therefore, I am quite capable of delivering mine own elect. Leslie, the problem is not with the truth. The problem is with the truth mixed with lies contamination in the ranks from even a tiny amount of error puts the army on the enemy side. Ugh. They do not provoke me, child. They provoke themselves. They follow their own desires and seek to fill their pockets with ill-gotten gain. Each one that you hear and see asking support, resources, time, effort from my chosen, instead of asking me, they are seeking to support self-centered projects. When they tell you they are not for profit, they deceive themselves first. And then they set about to deceive the mindless followers of their man-made kingdoms. My church has sold themselves over a dollar. My shepherds follow man-made agendas. 
and develop programs for profit and proclaim it is to further my kingdom? It is to further man's kingdom come. Man's will be done on earth as it is in hell. Daughter, wake up my chosen ones. Tell them they have not the time to plow and plant for the harvest is upon them. I am sending the garbage collectors. I am cleaning house. I am provoking the status quo. Tell them, focus on the cleaning. They say billion soul harvest. Oh yes, daughter, hell is never satisfied. Remember when you see the masses coming to the suedo Jesus. Know that perilous times are upon you all. These church movements do not move me, daughter. I have sent my true prophets to warn of the destruction and the death. Truth is perished and cut off from the mouths of those calling out prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. If it looks like gain ill-gotten, the easy way, it is what it is. Be not deceived. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Be not deceived. Lord, help us. It's never easy to be the pizza delivery boy in a hostile environment even when you're bringing it you're just the delivery personnel help me Lord they have set their abominations in the houses called by my name and they have polluted it the leaders the elders the pastors are stiff necked Going through the motions without emotion. I am an emotional Lord, Savior, and Master. I have given you emotions not to rule over self, but to deliver self from my wrath. Without my sorrow, one shall not spend eternity with me. Emotions are meant to proclaim reality, not lead and guide fleshly reactions. You will know them that are mature by the love and the self-control under pressure. Put pressure on any creation I have purposed and you will find the breaking point. Maturity, I measure in patience and self-control. Come and see what I have prepared for them that overcome. So many have raised altars to me in name only. They have copied a form of godliness denying the power of my plan, making for themselves plans that have no bearing on my outcome. They look righteous in the buildings, dressed in their best garb, but away from the gathering, they remove the mask and you see the truth and how they live their daily lives. I desire truth in the inward parts integrity honesty trustworthiness even when they know that no one is watching them can i trust the masses no child the masses cannot be trusted in their fickleness i have not given instructions to my body to vote upon my decisions i create 
and I destroy. I bless whom I choose, and I curse whom I shall. And who will dare question me? The arrogance consumes the masses, and the few that control them like puppets. They fear nothing, including death, in their status of delusion. Power and control push the puppet masters, and casualties are their passion. Them that seek to destroy life are overtaking them that seek to preserve life. The status quo has become the measure of success. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, and I alone can deliver. I have sent my warnings daily. They wish to hear feel-good encouragement. They do not hearken to the truth, for they are deceived into believing they are safe in our relationship of a five-minute prayer. They tip me by robbing me of my provision, and they take great joy that they have done the Christian duty on the day of the sun by listening with dull ears and closed hearts to the pleas and the pleasing of the ones they have voted on democratically to lead them down paths of their own righteousness. Wow. This is the first time I've read this, so it's like, Oh, Lord, help me. Yeah, there it is. They will not listen, nor incline their ear to hear. Wow. Wow. But they walked in their own counsels and in the imagination of their evil hearts and go backward, not forward, thinking they are serving me. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Only continually provoking themselves. New age is not new. New Age is a lie from the enemy packaged in pretty packages that when opened deliver death to ones that partake willingly and infects those that stand by and unwillingly participating by mere association. Wow. Infectious disease in the spiritual realm have but one cure godly sorrow and repentance with a broken and contrite heart poured out at my sacrificial altar. Tell my people, judgment starts at my house. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, Father. Lord, help us come before you in sackcloth and ashes. Lord, Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I just ask that you have mercy. Help us to wake up, Lord, before it's too late. I got to go because I'm, I'm fixing to cry and I don't think I have waterproof makeup on here. Just, yeah. Um, I love y'all. I bless y'all. God bless you. Sister with a testimony. That's hard. God bless you. I love you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Sister with a testimony.